Good day and God bless. Welcome to Verses from My Car. I am Dana. Today we're going to read chapter 9 from a little book I picked up at the store for free called Way Truth Life. It is the Gospel of John. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked him, Why is this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. This happened so the power of God could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the task assigned us by the one who sent us. The night is coming, and then no one can work. But while I am here in the world, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva, and spread the mud over the blind man's eyes. He told him, Go and wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means sent. So the man went and washed and came back seeing. His neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar each asked each other, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some of them said he was, and others said, No, he just looks like him. Excuse me. But the beggar kept saying, Yes, I am the same one. They asked, Who healed you? What happened? He told them, The man they called Jesus made mud and spread it over my eyes and told me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash yourself. So I went and I washed, and now I can see. Where is he now, they asked. I don't know, he replied. Then they took the man who had been blind to the Pharisees, because it was on the Sabbath that Jesus had made the mud and healed him. The Pharisees asked the man all about it, so he told them, He put mud over my eyes, and when I washed it away, I could see. Some of the Pharisees said, this man Jesus is not from God, for he is working on the Sabbath. Others said, But how could an ordinary sinner do such miraculous signs? So there was a deep division of opinion among them. Then the Pharisees again questioned the man who had been blind and demanded, What is your opinion about this man who had healed you? The man replied, I think he must be a prophet. The Jewish leaders still refused to believe the man who had been blind and could now see. So they called in his parents and asked them, is this your son? Was he born blind? If so, how can he see? The parents replied, We know this is our son, and that he was born blind, but we don't know how he can see or who healed him. Ask him. He is old enough to speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders, who had announced that anyone saying Jesus was the Messiah would be expelled from the synagogue. That is why they said, He is old enough. Ask him. For the second time they called in the man who had been blind and told him, God should get the glory for this, because we know this man, Jesus, is a sinner. I do not know whether he is a sinner, the man replied, but I know this, I was blind and now I can see. But what did he do, they asked, how did he heal you? Look, the man exclaimed, I told you once, didn't you listen? Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? Then they cursed at him and said, you are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know God spoke to Moses, but we don't even know where this man comes from. Why, that's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes, yet you don't know where he comes from? We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. Ever since the world began, no one has been able to open the eyes of someone born blind. If this man were not from God, he couldn't have done it. You were born a total sinner, they answered. Are you trying to teach us? And then they threw him out of the synagogue. When Jesus heard what happened, he found the man and asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Yes, Lord, I believe, the man said, and he worshipped Jesus. Then Jesus told him, I entered the world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind, and to show those who think they see that they are blind. Some Pharisees who were standing nearby heard him and asked, Are you saying we are blind? If you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty, Jesus replied, but you remain guilty because you claim you can see. And that is the end of chapter 9. Hope you enjoyed it, the stumbling and everything, and I hope you're getting as much out of this as I am. I know I'm learning every time I read and play these back for myself. So thank you very much for following along. I appreciate it. Please be kind in the comments if you leave any. I'm good with constructive criticism, but I don't want to be bashed. I'm not saying that's happened, but just putting it out there. Anyway, God bless and have a great day.